The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, in the night, and never shall be, or without end. My Jesus, you give us our sins and us from the fire of hell. Give us our sins and us from the fire of hell. The second sorrowful mystery does go king at the pillar. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. 
The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns.
The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion.
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Memorary. Prayer to Saint Michael. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, Mary, the Queen of the Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Faustina, Saint Anna. May the divine assistant remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Father and Son and the Holy Spirit.
Please stand. Before we begin our celebration, we pray the transition prayer together. I will pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us together and calling us to serve as your disciples. You have charged us through your Son, Jesus, and his shepherd with the great mission of evangelizing and witnessing your love to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we discern your will for the spiritual renewal of our parish communities. Give us strength courage, and clear vision as we use our gifts to serve you. We entrust our parish families to, to the care of Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession and guidance as we strive to bear witness to the gospel, celebrating the qualities of each faith-filled community and together building an engaging parish. Amen. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see. Thank you for coming this morning and celebrating with me this Mass for my 10th anniversary of priesthood. In thanksgiving to God for all that God is and what he has done for me in my priesthood and all the people I have met and been given the grace to minister to, all the friends that have come into my life. For these last 10 years where God has led me to places and experiences, I thank God for it all, even the challenging times. And in thanksgiving to God for his call on my life, let us begin this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Holy Father, who by no merit of my own chose me for communion with the eternal priesthood of your Christ and for the ministry of your church, grant that I may be an ardent yet gentle preacher of the gospel and a faithful steward of your mysteries. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was proclaimed to you by us, Silvanus and Timothy and me was not yes and no, but yes has been in him. For however many are the promises of God, their yes is in him. Therefore, the amen from us also goes through him hmm. to God for glory. But the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put his seal upon us and given the spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. The caps with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. Steady my footsteps according to your promise and let no inequality rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your contents shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Church, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. From the fifth chapter of Matthew we read, Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. A lamp is set on a lampstand 
where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see the good deeds that you do, and then they will glorify your heavenly Father. People of God, the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, church. When I got up this morning, I reflected on these last 10 years of my priesthood. I thought about 10 years ago, that day when this happened, when the bishop laid hands on me. And 10 years ago, everybody in my family that I had grew up, grown up with, they were still alive. But in these past 10 years, I have lost my dad. He died a year after this. And then my middle brother, Timothy. And then my stepmom, last year, September. And then three weeks ago, my sister-in-law, Sharon, who died from COVID. And now I am left with me and my big brother alone. So many people that I have loved in 10 years have just gone. And so I feel sorry for that. I miss them terribly. For I knew what love was from these people. But also, I thank God, especially for that man. He was my spiritual director when I was in the seminary. And soon he became my best friend. He is my best friend in all the world now. And if you think I can preach, I am nothing until you hear him preach. I try to take an example from him. He is my mentor in many things. You know, they always said to me when I was growing up, make sure your best friend is smarter than you. He is smarter than me. He's a wonderful professor in Maryland and he reads two, three books a week, and he is terrible when it comes to pushing me and pushing me to read and read and read. And he's a wonderful friend. And when I got ordained 10 years ago, he put my priestly clothes on me, and so I am absolutely grateful to God that he not only is he my best friend, but that he is here with me, Father George, with me here today to celebrate this 10th year. I look the same, brother. You got a little older, but I look the same. But I also thank God for you, the people of God. I have been here for four years, and when I came here, I came to be the chaplain of the Tacoma hospitals and help out Father Tuan on a Tuesday to allow him to be able to have a day off. And very soon I started to look forward every Tuesday to be with you, to share the word of God with you. Because in my ministry, as you know, when you're in a hospital, you deal with a lot of sickness and death but this was one of the few places where there was life and light 
as the gospel says. Here I was able to not only express myself in the preaching, but also to worship God with you. And so I feel close to you this Tuesday morning crowd. And I thank you very much for showing up. I know I preach a little longer than most people, but you, you show up. So it's either you're a sucker for punishment or you like me. So thank you very much for coming and for worshiping with me every Tuesday. The scripture today reminds us that we are to be salt for the earth and light for the world. And that might not mean much to us because for us, 2,000 years after the gospel was written, salt means high blood pressure. But, but for the scripture, salt meant that we should have taste. We are to be salt for the earth. We are supposed to give our faith taste. Make the world want it by how we live it. Light. Because in a world of darkness and doubt, in a world of cynicism and stereotypes, we are supposed to shine through all of that and be light to the world. In other words, by the way we live our lives, when we shine, convince the world that the light that we have, they should be attracted to it. And the light is Jesus Christ. So as we live our lives salty and shining, the world out there, with its many people and its many ills, might look towards us who follow Christ, who eat and drink the body and blood of Christ, who give witness to Christ, who worship Christ, and turn their gaze from other things and turn their gaze towards Christ, and in so doing, serve the living God. Just as God has called me, God has called you. And though our call within the church might be different, the universal call is the same. That each one of us are to be salt for the earth and light for the world. To be boldly shining. To not hide our light, as the scripture says, under a bushel basket, but to put it on the lampstand so that all may see, all may be drawn to this light to be bold in our faith. And as I reflected on the man that I was 10 years ago as I knelt before the bishop, and who I am now, man, the experiences of the last 10 years, I am not the same person. And yet, I thank God that one thing remains from that day that reminds me of who I am. One thing remains that when I stand at the altar, even from that first day to now, I feel a great sense of unworthiness that, Lord, I am not worthy to do this, I don't know why you called me. I am not worthy of this. And so, because I feel that great sense of unworthiness, it fills me with a great sense of gratitude. God, I don't know why you called me, but because you called me, I'm going to give this my all. I'm going to try to be a priest, a man of integrity before you, that what I say, I do and that I will try to live this with every ounce of integrity. Because though I am not worthy of this, you chose me. 
And so for all of us, that should be our stance every morning when God wakes us up. God, you have given me a new day and I don't know where you will lead me and to whom you will send me, but make me salty, make me bright, make me grateful. Let me never take for granted the faith that I have, the call that I have, that you have upon my life. Make me humble, God, in your service. Humble, never beating my chest and acting like I've got it all together because I don't. Make me pliable like clay so that I may be able to be shaped and formed like the potter does, forming the clay so that you make me into the kind of man or woman that you want me to be. Make me into the vessel that you want me to be. And then as I live my faith, make me salt. Make me bold to shine my light. Make me full of gratitude for your grace and mercy. Because we are only here by God's grace and mercy. And so in thanksgiving to God for the people that he has put in my life and now have gone back to him and for the people that here remain. And I am about to step into a new parish, as you know, in 1st of July at Holy Trinity in Bremerton. And I don't know anybody there, there yet. And I, again, as everybody else, I'm anxious about what I will experience there and yet just as God was with me at the beginning here I am sure he will be with me as I begin there and that God will put people in my life like you who will support me and help me on this road of priesthood so please continue to pray for me I have about two more weeks left here then I start there. Pray for me. As I know many of you do, pray for your priests. And do me a favor, keep supporting Father Tuan. I will miss him and he needs you. He needs all of you to pray for him. You know he is not well and he, he looks good, but he is held up by a lot of medicine. So please, Pray for him, support him, love him. I'm leaving him in your hands. He needs you to be there for him. He is one man, so take it easy on him. Promise me, take it easy on him. And do the best you can to support him. I leave him in your hands. And thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me and praying for me. And thank you, God, for calling me. God rarely calls ordinary people, doesn't he? And he seems to like the sinners. God bless you. Thank you for everything. Let us stand as we bring our prayers before the Lord, trusting that God, who has called us to serve him, now ask us to bring our needs before him. We pray, answer us, God, according to your holy will. That the church, the sacraments of unity, will draw our believers to know the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of our country and state strive to respect the charitable works of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those with doubts or whose faith has wavered 
be strengthened and lifted by this sacred mystery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who share the Eucharist with the elderly and the homebound be blessed with patience, loving hearts, and appreciation of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we may show love for one another in our support of ministries and service founded by annual Catholic appeal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful of our community grow in appreciation of and participation in adoration and Eucharistic devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially at glass, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of St. Joseph Church parishioners and for the repose of the soul of Rudy Lopez and my beloved husband, Lanu Naufahu, for whom this Mass has been offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For these and all the prayers enter in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of my father, Hamilton, my brother, Timothy, my stepmom, Annette, my sister-in-law, Sharon, these people of my family, who have gone before us in faith for the repose of their souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked us to pray for them, those who have no one to pray for them, and for the souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many people sick, affected by the coronavirus, for their health and restoration, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the many who have died, we pray, O oh God, for the consolation of their family and friends, that you, O oh God, might take their souls to yourself and grant them eternal rest and eternal peace in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in thanksgiving for the people who love us, people who support us, people who have supported me in these 10 years of priesthood, for the many people I have met, for the many people I have prayed for, and the many people who pray for me. For all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask our Mother Mary, Our Lady, who always draws us closer to her Son, to intercede for us as we ask of her in faith. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed, Blessed art thou among men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, so that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your heart. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Sancto. Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venite no You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Do you want to pray? Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, church. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Thanks, brother. Love you. Yeah. Can you stay? Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body of Christ. The body of Christ. Rejoice in our God. The body of Christ. 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 
the goodness of God. Let us pray. For the glory of your name, O Lord, I have joyfully celebrated the mystery of faith to mark the 10th anniversary of my priestly ordination, so that I may be in truth what I have handled mystically in this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you for being with me to celebrate this Mass, those with us also on the live stream. Next year, I promise you, this was a small party. Next year, we're going to have a big one. 
when the coronavirus hopefully will have gone away. And so I promise you to send invitations out to all of you to make sure that you all attend. It's going to be a nice party with a lot of food from Trinidad. So please, you are invited. Also, please also be feel free to come down to Holy Trinity in Bremerton. Open invitation to all of you. Mass is at 9 o'clock, so on a, on a weekday. So please, you are invited to come down too. <sighs> and know that I will miss you. Thank you very much for your love and your graciousness. Church. Hmm? Okay. Yes. And do not forget that I'll be out by the door. We have a breakfast afterwards. We couldn't go downstairs to eat it together. But I have a breakfast afterwards. So please, please take one as you leave. And that is my little love to you. Just a taste of what's coming next year. Church, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good rest of the day, everybody.